So this is the first lesson, the actual lesson of elementary home economics. So this one is sewing and textiles, the sewing basket. A sewing basket, um, the traditional sewing basket would be probably with a lid, but it's going to be a woven basket. Um, it's probably going to have separators in it back in the 20s. Um, but this is what I have right now, but it's just kind of like to visualize. A sewing basket in which is placed implements used for sewing is needed by every seamstress if she is to do her sewing easily and well. A basket or box can be kept in better order than a bag, and sewing materials when kept in a box or basket are less rumpled than when you put them in a bag. The implements needed in a box are scissors or shears, uh, tape line, needles, these are needles, um, an emery bag, so, um, these used to be the emery bags, um, they used to have emery in them, but this one is a pin cushion and the emery is in here. Um, pin cushion, pins of different types, sizes, and a thimble and thread. I do not have thread today. It's um, not in my box. It's in the living room. So we're going to have to not show you that one. In order to do good work, the implements must be of the right kind and in good condition. Scissors, scissors, are six inches or less in length while shears are over seven or over six inches in length. It is always best to buy shears when both cannot be purchased because shears are always needed for cutting out garments. Shears may be bent or straight in, in a shape that the bent ones are easier to be used because they do not rise the cloth from far from the table when cutting. Okay, we're talking about the flat and you're able to. <laughs> Select shears or scissors that are made of forged steel and that are not so tightly jointed that they are hard to work. Scissors or shears must be sharp if they are to do good work. Be careful about allowing them to drop on the floor since this loosens them that they will not cut a true edge and maybe bend or break at the point. Never buy cheap scissors or shears because cheap ones will never do satisfactory work. Buttonhole scissors used for cutting buttonholes are very convenient to have in your work box. These are. These are super convenient. The other implements found in a work box made from steel is the needles. Needles have been used for longer periods than any other implements used for sewing. Needles made of fish bone uh, of ivory, ivory and of bronze were used in early times. Steel needles originated in Spain and were introduced into England during the reign of Queen Elizabeth. Needles, while very small, require a great deal of care in manufacture and pass through hands of great many workmen before they are finished. Ordinary sewing needles are sold in packets with 25 needles in each package. There are three kinds of needles used for plain sewing. Sharps, the longest needle. Let's see. Sharps are in the middle. Ground downs, the next length between of which the shortest betweens and are the shortest needles. Well, these ones on the end are the shortest. 
Needles are of 12 sizes and the sizes being numbered from 1 to 12, the number 12 being the finest, and the package of the number needles may contain needles of different sizes or may contain needles of all sizes. Sizes 8, 9, and 10 will be used most in our class's work. Um, I believe for my sewing machine I have different sizes, but, oh yeah, no, these are different. Okay. Um, those are a lot wider you can see it mostly on these ones there are different different gauges if needles and threads are too coarse for the sewing that is being done the stitches will never look well select the thread that is nearest to the side of the thread in the cloth on which the sewing is to be done and select the needle just large enough to carry the thread good sewing cannot be done with a bent or rusty needle needles when not being used should be placed in a pin cushion or in a needle book and not left in the sewing because you can leave rust marks i have done this before and also you can leave it creases and big holes and stuff like that too um so we're going to stop right there because the laboratory exercises um the emery is used to remove rust from your needles that's what it's for um it used to be in like a bag if you saw the square bags um and sometimes they would be the tomatoes like i have an older tomato that i call it tomato i don't know if that's what everybody else calls it but i call it tomato and my daughter says this is the strawberry um but um they used to be like it used to have emery in it this is blatantly a pin cushion um it's got foam or something in it but um this does have the emery like sand in it um thimbles are in handy they come in handy for when you're doing hand sewing um, you just, it's good to have them to stop. Um, but that's where we're going to leave off for now. And, um, I'm going to continue through this book. Um, next is a laboratory exercise. I'm probably going to have my older daughter come and help.